Oi, are you ready? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> you are useless. You're not even ready, are you? Yeah. You're not even ready, are you? I'm not born ready. Not born ready. What's the time? Half eleven. In the day? Yes, mate, in the day. <sighs> I thought I'd never slept then. You have? I haven't. Have you got someone then? Well, closest I'm ever going to get to a girlfriend. <laughs> Oh, hello, boy. <laughs> Let's go. Come on, Dawn. Dawn, the dog. Come on, mate. Come on, we're shooting. Right. Let's go. Yeah. Now, look, we've got to work together here. Dawn, come on. This is this is not doing well for our dog training videos that we're going to put on YouTube. Ridge line road trips. Kiwi to bridge. Here we go. Uh, this is part one on keeping bees with Alex Hinkins. We're here to shoot crows uh, tomorrow, corvids, rooks, jackdaws, carrying crows as well. Um, we're actually on a pig farm north of Essex. Uh, there's a lot, a lot of crows here at the moment. We pulled into the field earlier on came up the main track and, and there must have been, I would say, a thousand crows scattered across this pig farm. Um, we're here now, it's got to be seven o'clock. There's still a lot of activity in the skies. Plenty of flight lines coming into this area and they seem to be congregating in this, this particular spot for some reason. It uh, may change tomorrow, we may have to move the hide around a little bit, but at the moment, the reconnaissance that we've done from a good half an hour of watching now, this seems to be the busy spot. I don't want to put the dampeners on it, but I'm predicting that we're going to get a pretty big bag tomorrow. Okay, custom made hide poles. I'm going to do the hide. Alex needs some filming. Dawn the dog's just going to get in the way, aren't you? Um, got some higher poles here. I want to have a bit of a backdrop. I think the worst thing you can do when you've got a hide is have it all too low because you get, you get profiled by the crows too easy. You've got to remember, crows, they've got a really, really good vision. So if we don't build a proper hide, this isn't going to work. It's the first time I've been on this farm, I think it's the first time Alex has been here, there's nothing better than going to a farm for the first time and getting a really big score. It means we can come back, maybe have a go at uh, the rabbits or anything else we fancy. Let's just do a proper job. Mate, your uh, decoy pattern, Mark, what sort of decoy pattern are we going to go for tomorrow? Well, like you were saying earlier, I don't think there's a lot of point having too much stuff on the ground because there's quite a lot of, it's not a cut field, there's a lot of clutter. So we want the crows up and sitting on the fences. Also, when we were over there, like you said to me, so look how many are on the fences. I couldn't see them on the ground. They were much easier to pick out on top of the fence post. So most of them will be on the fence post. We just want to make it look busy and welcoming for the crows. That's if, that's if I can get these poles in the ground. <laughs> you know ground's hard when my force Put onto a little area doesn't get the pole in the ground. Maybe I should have done this bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is not good. Here he comes, E Man, saving the day. Yep. By the powers of Grayskull. I idea off. When it's not working and it's not going to work, change your ideas. Like, it, like in the Marines, improvise, adapt, and overcome. Look at this bad boy. Some pallets, some greenery. Uh, the good thing about pallets, if you can, you always want to think, if you can't get the poles in the ground, what do you do? We've got pallets here. We've only got two here, and these are self-standing. We've got two more for the sides. Very, very quickly, we've got the basis of a really, really good hide. Okay, we've taken it from talking a good game to shooting a lot of game. Just added some branches up there to make it look more natural. Uh, we've got everything ready for the morning. Uh, if we were serious, serious hardened crow shooters, we'd be going to bed right now, but we're going to go and have a few pints and a barbecue. A couple of hours sleep, and then we'll be on for the morning. Right, come on, let's go.